Welcome back to Mage. I'm Sean. I'm Chris. This is Attack on Titan Chapter 127. Yes. So, the end of the last chapter, last month. Uh, <laughs> what happened, Chris? The boys, the band was starting to get back together, and that it finally felt like... Their morale had come back. Definitely. Like, they might not have a plan just yet, but they're all together, and they're going to try something. And Levi's useless. So far. <laughs> How could, how could you do best boy like that? When he recovers, he'll be fine, alright? Alright, uh, title of the chapter, The Night of the End. Sounds big. Where are we? One of the towns, not <sighs> sure where. Um, naturally, I'll ask for a house in the central district. I'll be guiding down, gulping, gulping down, the finest wine, whether it be morning or noon. I won't take complaints from anyone. I'll let my wife, our children, and our grandchildren enjoy a little a life of happiness. Uh, we should have that right, shouldn't we? Yes. <laughs> that's, uh, oh, you go. that's because we fought with our lives on the line. That This island has a future. That's why we should brush it aside. Gene, it's me. So this is Gene daydreaming? Gene dreaming, yeah. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> it's a mood. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Avoiding responsibility. The last dude. I'll be waiting outside. Don't go. Don't think about it. If I just stay still like this, I'll get my place at the central district just like this. There he is. <laughs> and he's just... So you came. Gene. Mikasa told me about the situation. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. You guys did well under such circumstances. Levi is not fine, but he's alive. Yeah. Uh, he won't be able to fight for a while, though. Yeah. Or at all. <laughs> uh, also, we join forces with the Cart Titan and the remnants of Marley forces. And he's just like... Shook. He did what? <laughs> we, need a, we need to figure out where he's at, though. In order to stop Eren, mass slaughter is wrong. Yes. Mikasa and Jean, like, we agree, but... <laughs> how uh, do you... Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How do you plan to stop him? First, we'll gather collaborators... What we can do or not depends on the allies we have. I still don't think it matters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but without you and the powers of the nine titans, there's nothing we can do. Oh, good. So they're trying to so, unite. So at least they know there's nothing they can trying do. Trying to unite the Power Rangers. Then the they'll work together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the military that existed up until now has been destroyed, so I'm no longer your superior officer. But I'm still asking this of you. Here we go. I'll do it. Okay, Mikasa. Immediately. I don't want to let Aaron go any further on this indiscriminate attack. Even if it's to protect us and this island, I want to stop Aaron. Mikasa. Uh, let's say we really stopped Aaron. What's the plan next? See, this guy's thinking ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even assuming Aaron somehow managed to keep the founder's power, if he only has four years left to live, what becomes of this island after that? Exactly. After that, and for the decades to come, if the hatred... Uh, the world bears towards us won't go away then stopping Eren means that we're destroying this island exactly so this is like kind of like the code geese ending that we've mm. been talking about for the last few chapters if they don't hate Eren if there's a problem with Eren's plan and all hatred doesn't go to him and then he dies mm. everyone else who's a titan everyone else is just screwed mm -hmm. I think that from Marley's point of view the rumbling got activated as soon as they launched their surprise attack on the island. At least from now on, they might keep their hands off the island for a while, I believe. Uh, if the world doesn't destroy the island, they have no way to know when they'll be the ones getting annihilated. I think they'll see them coming. Mm. They're kind of large. Uh, Willie Tiber's speech ought to have stirred up the world even more. That's certainly plausible, but in any case, there's some time before that hypothesis happens. Even if the island is going to be destroyed, we should be able to push it back for several years. For several years. I just... It's not a solution, though. You're just delaying the inevitable. Yeah. Thanos. And how, <laughs> and how far away, like, is the island from the rest of the world? Like, mm. the Titans have to walk that. Mm. But time passed while we tried looking for a way to do that, and we couldn't find a single solution. Yeah. That's why Eren is going to destroy the world. You yeah. can't just massacre everyone like hell. There's a good reason to ever do that. This is the discussion everyone has been having. <laughs> over the this last just goes back chapters. to like Infinity War and Endgame. <laughs> 
Pretty much. But someone has the power to do it. Mm. <laughs> Han just upset. Everyone's not happy. Sorry, I made too much noise. As you said, Jean, Aaron ended up there because of my own weak-minded and idealistic thoughts. Besides, I'm yelling about it when I tried to run away. I tried to leave it all behind, to forget about it all and continue with my life. Jean is also guilty. <laughs> However, I'm still the 14th commander of the Survey Corps. I dedicate my heart to humanity's freedom. I can feel that my comrades are watching. Most of them died without ever knowing that humanity existed outside of the walls. But still, just bringing about this island's freedom is enough. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much been the mm. motto of the Survey Corps. Certainly, uh, there's certainly no one among those comrades who would say something so narrow-minded. Exactly. Hold on. Eren's going to destroy the other island, right? The world, yes. Every but he was leaving this place alone. Everything not the island, he's destroying. So yes. why is she complaining? If she wants to protect this island. She wants to protect everyone. Because what she just said before, massacring the world. Yeah, but what she just said not then option. was like, I want to protect this island for everyone that's died. She, yeah. But she can't <laughs> let a mass slaughter happen. There's there's the armies of Mali that were attacking, and there's also innocent civilians. I feel like this is the argument they're having. <laughs> Again, I feel like she's useless. <laughs> they all are individually, alright? Did you see how many rumbling titans he had? They've got a lot to deal with. You're very optimistic, Chris. <laughs> we'll have to see how this pans out. We really will. Uh, this time to stop the slaughters. It's now or never. Hanj, I'm still a member of the Survey Corps. We go, got the boys. That's a nice panel. They're all meeting together. Go. Fucking Levi. <laughs> He's attending, all right? He's trying his best. <laughs> He's got burrito mode activated. Burrito mode. That's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, no one's going to give me a hand here. She's cooking. Please stop glaring at each other. <laughs> Sharing a meal with people whom we have killed and who have killed us so horribly. That's interesting. <laughs> Why did you change your mind? If you just left Aaron Jaeger alone, you lot would see the world you wished for <laughs> become a reality, right? A paradise for the island devils. Uh, we were this close to preventing Aaron and Zeke from coming into contact with each other. If you hadn't interfered, that is. Uh, it's as I explained, Mr. General, we do not wish for mass murder. If we did, we wouldn't have run and hidden inside a forest to make some stew. In other words, you're telling me you developed a sense of justice. I think they kind of already had the justice. It just wasn't pointed in the right place. <laughs> and Jean's kind of annoyed. <laughs> justice, you say? <laughs> Did you just talk about justice right now? You of all people? Here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> we lived under the threat of Titans. You kept sending after us, but we're the bad guys. You hear it? Oh, no, you hear that? The reason why we fought desperately is that we didn't want to die uh, devoured by titans. Yeah. Are you trying to say that it was us acting like devils, you old... F <laughs> yeah, you look like devils, alright. The theories about the threat Paradise posed turned out to be true, and the world is now about to be destroyed. But that's just because <laughs> you enabled it. <laughs> oh my god. This is the result you guys fighting to the death led to. Am I wrong? Okay, so this is one person not being able to accept that, hmm, maybe we did screw up. <laughs> this is politics. All right. <laughs> Hold on. To begin with, if the walls hadn't broken down and his mom hadn't, eat, hadn't been eaten right in front of him, Aaron would have never done this. Are you sure you aren't the ones who chased after the rumbling? Hey, are we talking about history now? Oh my uh, god. So, so it's voice. history. Yeah. You understand that Eldians are the one who made Male suffer and trampled over them first, don't you? That's why they're excluded. Yeah. Mm. How long are you going to keep playing the victim for something that dates back thousands of years ago? It really feels like I'm talking to a brat. 
Uh, you think that silly nonsense is worth anything in the face of 2,000 years of real, actual history? What'd you say? This is why they should get along. That right there is why they should get along. Because you both be impressed. Ah, let's stop this. This talk about 2,000 year old quarrels that none of us saw with our own eyes is just droll. Dull, sorry. Gene, Mr. General is obviously bewildered by our existence. We're strange devils who are willing to even give up on their paradise to rescue the people of the world that tried to eradicate them. Uh, we spent several months in the outside world. We can't go back to being ignorant devils anymore. Are you sure? Well. <laughs> <laughs> well then, are you prepared to kill him? Ooh, and he just oh. chucking that straight in there. This yeah, is a good point. This is... Eh? Yeah. <laughs> the boy's Nani? like, what? <laughs> are you able to kill Aaron? No answer. Killing Aaron isn't the only way to stop him. I thought you'd say that. But what would that be? You go, you oh go, no. You're going to talk to him or something? You're going to talk no <laughs> juice to him? Would someone who changed their mind because of that commit genocide? Very we don't point. know that unless we try talking to Aaron. Oh my God, that's such weak resolve. Then. <laughs> We're going to talk to the guy with genocide in mind. Then, assuming we can have a conversation with him, what do we do if he doesn't stop the genocide? And he's got points after exactly. point. Exactly. Should we try not to think about the final option as much as possible? I knew it. Yep. You're weak. <laughs> They're just it's like, pathetic. They don't want to say it, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, we, no. who have a hometown in Male, try to kill Aaron, you're going to end up fighting us to protect Aaron, surely. Yep. Middle of combat, they'll be like, stop. Don't kill him. You need to talk. That's it after all, isn't it, Mikasa? Because you have probably never thought of anything being more important than Eren. She's looking away. In other words, are you saying you have to kill me? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Oh, she, she got yeah, the ring here out. We <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Leonhardt. Everyone's looking shot. Levi's chilling. <laughs> no, Levi's just like, yeah. Another day as a burrito. Ooh, it is, it is the life. Stop. I understand your feelings well. Annie's just testing. Oh, this is right. So, Annie has the hardening skill now, like, down. Yes. So, if she turns Titan, they all lose. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. Because they can't even do anything. They can't kill her. Ah, nice. Uh, me too. I have one reason to want to stop Eren. I don't want my father in Male to be killed. That's why I'm helping you. If we can stop Aaron by talking to him, that's fine. If we do nothing else, we don't have any reason to fight until then. Okay, so that's that's very objective. Pretty much, she's down to give it a try. Mikasa's like... Come on, the stew's ready. Let's yeah. eat. <laughs> Just trying to change the topic. Mikasa says, got it, and walks out. Horses are eating. Um... Even if we let the horses rest, the port is five hours from here. We can thank the Azumabitos. Oh, they got planes. It seems like Kayomi prepared a flying boat in the port to observe the rumbling. Uh, if we use that, we can get close to the founding titan. I knew it. The Azumabitos were working behind our backs. Flying. God, this guy is such a wank. Flying boat, by the way. Mm. <laughs> The problem is lo is the founding titan's location. If we just fly around blindly, we'll run out of fuel. Uh, that's right, we have to look for the founding's path. We have a bit of a clue. Dude, they're huge titans. Well, that's why I took her. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Where is Jaeger headed first of all? I wouldn't know. Even if I did, why would I need to answer? Ooh. Uh, the one who lent their knowledge to Eren, who knew nothing of the continent, was you. Jaeger was planning the rumbling in advance. Shouldn't you be able to predict something? You piece of shit. <laughs> eh? I'm asking, why is there a need for me to cooperate with a Malayan piece of shit? Whoa. Isn't it because we have the upper hand on your life here? It's pointless. She's acting like she wants to die. But weren't you fighting Malay... For your hometown? Are you fine with your hometown being trampled like this? Elena? 
isn't it fine? Because she's just a Malay piece of just the same. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Where is Falco and Gabby, by the way? Is that them there on the right? Is that Gabby? That's Gabby. Okay, so they are there. Yeah, yeah. Since you thoroughly got me in Liberia, Elena, I re it's talking. Mm -hmm. I researched everything about your past and was shocked. Oh, yeah, they both are there. You twisted your generic everyday Malian origins into being from a small country annexed by Mali. Ever since you met Zeke... Disappointed with Mali, Mali you came up with a certain story. Oh. Uh, that is a miraculous story of saving the world with a prince. Okay. Covering up the truth about yourself, you try to carve yourself into history. I deeply admire your greed. Giving yourself a hero backstory, mm. just so you know. Well, a backstory. Heh. <laughs> uh, it's almost like you're saying you're treating... It's almost like you're saying you're any different from me. Just what exactly is different between you guys and me? Saving the world, is there any sweet word that charms people more than that? Alright, so they're all looking serious. Uh, giving yourselves to that noble excitement of saving hundreds of millions of lives. Wish, uh, washing all the ill will until now down your throats like they didn't exist. That's what you look like in my eyes right now. Well, that's what they're trying to do. There's a bit of a trip. Whew. Let's take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? Reiner, Brawn, uh, by opening a hole in the wall, how many Eldians do you suppose were devoured by pure titans? All right, this guy's about to sow chaos. <laughs> uh, slipping into the walls and sharing joys and sorrows with your comrades here. Betrayal, killing each other, and now you pretend to be a comrade again. Annie Leonhardt, it seems you killed an awful amount of scouts too. Eventually you trampled the residents of Sothus in great numbers uh, of course you oh, par paradisians paradisians <laughs> were all extremely heroic against Malay too uh, you know you normally a sensible person so loudly destroyed the military port Armin uh, using the power you stole from Bertolt Hoover yep including civilians just how tall of a mountain of corpses did you raise alongside your military gains oh dude this guy this spitting guy. facts well, he is but don't Stir in the plot. Stir in the plot. Uh, and I know nothing of your valor in Liberio. You magnificently annihilated the soldiers of Mali, who greatly outnumbered you and dyed Liberio the color of blood, especially Jean. In order to defeat the cart, you aimed at Falco and dauntlessly fried your thunder spear. Fired, sorry. Because this spear barely missed, Falco is still here. Then, Sasha was shot by the little girl who was there, Gabby, because Sasha was a good girl. Uh, I was sad too. Oh, okay. But okay, it surely it actually, actually was sad there. <laughs> but it surely can't comp compare to the sadness and hatred of those who spent time with her, like, family from when they were trainees. Alright, so this is exactly what he was saying was happening earlier. But you've also got to remember, there not they're ignoring or choosing to go away with the hatred to work together mm. it's not as simple as he's putting it out there mm. it's delicious huh? Just, huh? oh yeah oh yeah can i have seconds yeah there's still plenty yeah <laughs> thanks yelena uh you're helping us get each other's ill will out and sort our minds out <laughs> there, there it is there it is <laughs> uh even though your whimsical dream that you wanted to come true so bad you even blew your precious comrades brains out ended meaninglessly and you were ready to die wow that was a big sentence mm. maybe some commas in there uh sorry for the trouble he's taking a sip uh what is that i forgot what was it again your close friend's name you told me before that's right it's marco buttons he's pushing <laughs> more <laughs> holy crap uh, if I'm not mistaken, you said Annie was involved in his death, right? <laughs> Did, Did you already <laughs> hear it from Annie? The truth about Marco's death? Holy crap. I took Marco's 3D maneuver gear. That's why Marco was devoured by a titan. Annie just obeyed my order. There's tension rising again. Mm. Come on, boys. Marco heard a conversation between me and Bertolt that had to be kept secret. 
I feared our true forms would be found out. I thought that if Marco was killed by a titan, it would silence him well. I threw Marco onto a roof in midair, and while I was holding him down so he couldn't move, Annie removed his 3D gear. Marco couldn't move from that spot, and he was eaten by a titan who came from behind. Tensions rising. <laughs> he didn't say any last words. He said, we still haven't talked. Oh my goodness. Time is now. That's right. Yes, we haven't talked properly. That's why. Isn't that why we ended up killing each other? And such until either one was dead? If we had talked properly from the beginning. All of the killing up till now. It's not too late to start that now. Even people like us who have ruthlessly killed each other, at least we are now exchanging words without killing each other. The guy in the back there needs to listen. <laughs> <laughs> who could have imagined this? Everyone. That we would eat together around a fire. Titan as well. Look mm. at that. Everyone. While I was watching Marco being eaten by a titan, I asked myself, why is he being eaten? Uh, yeah. And then I let myself be overcome by rage and I killed that titan while saying, you did this to Marco. Yeah. Mm. Enough already. You went crazy because of your sense of guilt, didn't you? Do not forgive me. <clears throat> I really have no idea what to do. Enough already. I'm sorry. He gets up and charges... Charges, uh... Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> Rhino. Rhino. So. Gets yeah, no, he's like beating the snot out of him. Gets a straight right in the face. Continues on with his assault. Saying, good boys, someone stop him. Gene. Uh, Connie and Armin have got him. Now he's kicking him. <laughs> Come on, boys. He's supposed to get... Ooh, someone jumped in front. I think it's Gabby. It looks like it. It is Gabby. Gabby. Are you okay? Sorry. We, all of you people from Paradise Island, we wished for all you to disappear. And then my dad and my mom, all the people from Libero, Liberio? Liberio. <laughs> ended up disappearing. I'm sorry. I realize how incredibly impudent this is of me, but we need your help. Please lend us your strength. And she's bound. A noble gesture. That will stop Jean, though. Please, stop the rumbling with us. Falco joins in. Both kneeling. Please. Jean's having a hard time. Let go of me. <laughs> Hanji, you don't want a second serving? <laughs> Come on, Hanj. It's no use. He went away. Brian is on the floor with bleeding face. The general. Gabby. Is about to reach out, but stops. You're so noisy. I'll leave eyes up, boys. <laughs> Wake up. Alright. It's time to leave. Jean's back. Will you help us? <sighs> yes, of course. <laughs> Goes up to Reiner. Well, until when are you going to sleep, Reiner? All of your wounds should have already healed. Gabby, I'm sorry I kicked you. Here we go, boys. This is looking positive. Are you alright? Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, is that so? Rana, I will not apologize to you. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I cannot uh, forgive you. I know. Uh, what about me? Who's me? Can we really trust the... I don't know. I think it? me is Annie. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, can, we easily, can we really trust the Azuma Bito? We have no choice but to trust them. Huh? The cart. Stop. It seems like something happened. Who's on the cart? No, oh, she's coming out. Oh, she's coming out, sorry. <laughs> the harbour. Oh, the... What is uh, it? Harbour? Harbour. The harbour. Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> the harbour. It was occupied by the Jaeger faction. Uh-oh. Stealth mission. Oh, well, you know, Armin can just... Go, oh, it's stealth mission. <laughs> Uh, they probably got there before us using the locomotives. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is the locomotive? 
Does that thing travel on... Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was like a sea train for a <laughs> second there. Like, one thing I was like, wait a minute. There are a great number of soldiers with the 3D maneuver gear uh, deployed to the fort. A great number? Dude, the houses do not need that many. <laughs> oh, dear. They've all got thunder spears, too. Oh. Uh, seems like they sensed we are moving in order to try and stop the rumbling. These guys are looking pretty big. And decided to confront us. The time left to humanity shortens, only the obstacles increase. Yep. That's it. Okay. Okay. So... This guy's decked. Yeah. Is he about to kill her or something? Why is he holding mm. a gun up like that? What is he doing? Come on, boys. You know, on alert, man. Yeah. Alright, so... That was a long chapter. It was a long chapter. Um, I feel like... Last chapter, they saw a glimmer of hope. This one was a step forward. But we still... Talking was, talking ain't gonna solve it. <laughs> talking solved nothing. It was just back and forth the whole chapter. Unless, no one came up with a solution. Unless the rest of the world... It's like, oh, let's talk to Aaron. Change his mind. Yes. Oh, if that doesn't happen, oh, we kill Aaron. Well, like you could the, kill Aaron. No, 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 half of them kill Aaron. The other ones fight them. And then Aaron wins. <laughs> that, yeah. All part of the plan. They still don't have a solid plan to stop Aaron. They still have to... There's a lot they got to piece together. But um, if the rest of the world actually comes to the same conclusion that these guys have come to, maybe there's a chance. But the rest of the world is a lot of people. <laughs> That's a big if, my dude. Exactly, exactly. It's not going to... The rest of the world hasn't had you know, their experiences either. Exactly, exactly. It's not going to be that easy. <laughs> easy. Try possible. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's going to be a tough one. So, stopping Aaron. What's it going to do? Gene's right. He's asking the right questions. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Hmm. Unless you, what, what questions do you have? For this I have stuff? no questions. What do you mean? You know, <laughs> nothing new has come to the surface. Yeah. They still face the same problem. Yeah. You know, if they want to stop Aaron, how are you going to do it? Yep. Well, you can't kill him. Well, um, you have a very tough So time. your second choice is talk no jutsu, and that's kind of pointless. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. <laughs> if they talk no jutsu Aaron, this whole series is just like worthless. And that's what they said in this one. Like, it's you're talk, like, You're going to try and talk to someone. That's what Annie said. You're going to try and talk to someone who's about to commit genocide. Yeah. I think he's pretty sad. <laughs> Yeah. He's had a long time to think about this. Exactly. Exactly. Especially when he keeps going through his flashbacks. Exactly. It's um yeah, pretty good chapter. Hmm. Very long, but good. A lot of content. Let us know down below what you thought of the chapter and we'll see you next month. Next month. For yeah, Attack sure. on Titan. But um yeah, very soon for another Twitterverse. Yes. Uh -huh. Alright. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you later.